All right guys, so I'm going to declutter my foundation collection today. As you can see, I have a ton of foundations and it's kind of ridiculous to be honest. Um, so yeah, let's just go through each one. I'll show you each foundation and I'll decide whether I'm going to get rid of it or not. So these are all my foundations here. I have a total of 52 foundations. It's kind of ridiculous. So I'm actually gonna go through each one and tell you which ones I'm getting rid of. I'm going to set the ones in front of me over here. Those are the ones I'll be getting rid of and then the ones I'm keeping I'm gonna set over to my right side. So um, this first one right here is the Maybelline Fit Shine Free. It's the Fit Me Shine Free Foundation. When this first came out, I really did like it. I thought it was an easy one to apply for times where I'm like in a hurry. So I actually liked it. I did a full review on it. I'll link it below, but I haven't really used it a lot. So as you can see, I've used it quite a bit, but I just haven't used it in a really long time. It's a little bit too um, pink toned for me. It's right there on that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Next are these Rimmel Stay Matte foundations. I actually really love these. Um, I have two shades, but one shade is way too light and pink. So the one I'm gonna keep is True Ivory. I love this because it's like full coverage. It, I just love the finish of it and it's super affordable. So this one I'm gonna keep, it's True Ivy, Ivory. And then this one is called Light Ivory. And I haven't even used this one because this is the color right here. And if you guys can tell, it is way too pink and way too light. So I'm going to get rid of this one in Light Ivory. So yeah, that color match doesn't work for me. This one here is the Becca Matte Skin Shine Proof Foundation. This is in the color Buff. I really love this foundation, so I'm definitely going to keep it. I just need to pull it out more, so this one is a keeper. So next I have these L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundations. I have three shades, it's kind of crazy. Um, I have the lightest one in 101 Classic Ivory, which is just too light. So then I picked up this one. This one is 102 Shell Beige. And this one is actually pretty decent, but it is a little bit on the pink side. So I picked up 103, and this is Natural Buff. It is too dark, but it is more yellow toned, so I actually like to mix this in with either one of these. Preferably with the lightest shade, because um, this one, you know, if I mix it in with this one, it's going to be too dark. So that's why I have all three, but I'm going to keep them all because they were like what, 11 or $12 each, so I'm gonna definitely make my use out of those. I love that foundation, I think it's wonderful. Uh, these are the Tarte, let's see, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundations. I love these. This one I think is the older packaging. Yeah, it definitely is, because um, I think the newer packaging has this leaf on it. So I have two shades, one is in medium. For when I'm like self tanning, I use this or mix it in with the lighter shade and then this one is in light so I love this so I love this foundation it's wonderful it has great coverage I love the finish of it it's long-lasting on me and it's funny you'll still you see a theme here I feel like all the ones in squeeze tubes I like it's really weird because all the ones I just set aside that I'm keeping are in squeeze tubes same for these here uh, this is the covergirl ready set gorgeous foundation I have number 105 I felt like I had three of these. I think I used one up in my last empties video, actually. So I have 105 and I have 310. And I use the 310 or mix it in with 105 when I'm self tanning. So that's why I have a really dark shade. Or I can even use it for contouring if I wanted to. So yeah, I love this foundation as well. Like I said, I've already gone through one, one bottle of these. I think I went through number 110, but it's a little pink toned. Uh, that's the only thing about CoverGirl foundations is they don't really have some that are yellow based, but I still can make it work. Um, but like I said, if I'm self tanning, I use the darker shade to mix it in with. So love these again, they're in a squeeze tube. So this one is the L'Oreal and so this one's a L'Oreal visible lift blur foundation. And I did a review on this and I actually really liked it at the time, but I tried it out recently and I just, I don't know I wasn't loving it as much for some reason I don't know it's a little bit dark 
for my complexion. But I think I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. I'm going to try to use that one again a little bit more and decide if I want to keep this one. So this one's a maybe. So this one is a fairly newer purchase. This is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum. I really, really like this foundation. Um, it's very affordable. I just love the finish of it. So I'm definitely going to keep that one. This is my Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream Foundation, and I have the color in Shell. And this is a really good full coverage foundation. I don't wear it that often, but I definitely need to pull it out and give it some love. So I definitely want to keep this one because it's very pricey, and I think it's a really good full coverage foundation. I did a full review on this one as well, so I will link it below. This is my new Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Foundation. I also did a review on this one. Um, I had to go back and switch it for another shade. It was really hard to find a color match for me, so I picked this one. This one is Bamboo Beige, and I definitely love this. I'm going to keep it. So this is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. This is super, super old. I really just need to throw it away. But I did use up quite a bit of it. I think I used up about half, but because I had it laying down flat, you can't really tell. But I've used about half of it, so I'm kind of proud of myself for using at least half of it. But definitely want to get rid of this because I don't wear it anymore. It's a little bit too light coverage for me. Um, I think the color match is pretty good, actually. Which, But look how gross it is because it's so old. So it's just expired, so I need to toss this one. This is the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation, and I thought I was going to get rid of this because I really haven't reached for it a lot. I have the, cover, the color 310 Light Ivory. It's a very, very liquidy foundation, and I actually pulled this out uh, recently to give it some use and decide whether I wanted to keep it or not for this video, and I actually liked it the day that I wore it, so I am going to keep it because it's pretty full. I haven't used it a whole lot, but I do really like this, especially because it's light coverage and it's good for summertime, so keeping that one. This is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation, the Invisible Camouflage Foundation. Um, I did a recent review on this one. As you can see, I've used it up a little bit, and it has a pump, which is really nice, and I think it was only, what, $7? And I actually do like this foundation for the drugstore, so definitely keeping this one. So this one here is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is fairly new to my collection, so I do want to keep this one. Um, I have the color 120 Classic Ivory, which I think is just a tad bit too dark, just a tad. But I feel like I've gotten a little bit more color now that it's hot here in um, Arizona. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Um, I can make the color work for me, just with concealer and all that. So just blend it down my neck but like I said I'm getting a little bit darker on my arms and neck and chest area because it is hot here in Arizona but I definitely want to keep this one haven't given I haven't given it enough use this one is the Laura Mercier smooth finish flawless fluid foundation I really like this foundation definitely going to keep it and I have the color in cashew so keeping that one so these two here are the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Makeup Foundation. These used to be my holy grail foundations when I first um, started using foundation. This is like the one I always purchased over and over and over. I've probably gone through a ton of bottles of these. Um, but since then, my skin has gotten better. Like The reason I like this is because it's a oil-free skin clearing foundation. It has salicylic acid in it and it just really helped prevent breakouts because my skin used to be a lot more sensitive and acne prone before so I've had these forever um, I think one of them's about halfway done I think it's this one in classic ivory you can't tell right now because I have it sideways but um, and this one's a little bit darker it's called nude but I definitely want to get rid of these because I've just had them too long so these are going in the trash because they are expired this one expired in 2013 <laughs> this one expired January of 2014 so these two have just had way too long and I don't use them anymore so they are going in the trash. What a waste. I know. So these two here are the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. And I don't always go for luminous finish foundations. But I do like to wear this sometimes. And I can even mix it in with like a more full coverage foundation. I have two shades. I have Neutral 1, 2. 
and then I have W or warm one two. So um, I like the warm one a little better, but I have used up like half of the neutral one. So I think I'm gonna keep both of these. I just want to really use up the neutral one. I was going to give it away, but I think I really want to use that up unless it's expired. Let's see. I don't know the expiration dates on these, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep both of these because I do use them now and again, and I'm gonna try my best to use up the neutral shade. So this one here is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Serum Absolute Foundation. Um, I haven't had this one that long. I got it towards the end of last year when I had like a coupon for L'Oreal, plus I had an Ulta coupon. So I ended up getting like two foundations and one free or something like that. So this was one of them. And I have the light ivory shade, number 144. This is a really good full coverage foundation from the drugstore. It, um, it doesn't budge, it's really full coverage. It comes with the pump, which really doesn't work that well. If you go online and read reviews, people will complain about the pump, but you can twist the top off and kind of scoop it out like this. So that's kind of what I do, but it's very full coverage. And uh, I do like this foundation for days that I want a really full coverage uh, drugstore affordable foundation to use. So this one here I'm keeping. So this here is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. Um, this is in the color W2 Light Ivory. <sighs> I don't know. I tried to use this one this morning and I thought it looks better than I have liked it in the past. Maybe it was the primer I used. I don't know. But usually in the past I have not liked this foundation because I feel like it settles into my pores and it just accentuates my pores. So I think I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. I'm going to try to give it a little bit of love in the next few days or maybe the next week and then decide if I want to keep it. And I probably won't get this video up right away. So in that case, I will tell you about like the two that are maybes, these here. I will actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift. I'm getting rid of it. Just make that. But this one I'm going to put in the maybe pile. I'm going to give it a little bit of use this week. And if I do get rid of it or keep it, I will like um, show you guys at the end of the video because I could just insert a little clip. So that's a maybe. So this is the Boots number no. 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation. I did a review on this one as well quite some time ago. It has an SPF of 15. It comes with a pump. The only thing I don't like about this foundation is the color. It's a little bit pink and dark for my complexion. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. I have the lighting kind of high. But um, I'm going to get rid of this one. I just don't think this is a good color match for me. Although I do like the formula and coverage of this, I think I'm going to get rid of it. As you can see, I have tons of drugstore foundations. I do have some higher end ones, but not as many as drugstore. This is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation in Classic Ivory. I love this foundation. I did a review on this one as well. So I will be linking quite a few review videos of foundations below. But this one I really love. It's a very liquidy foundation, but I love the coverage. It's very lightweight and I just really like this one. So I'm keeping that. This one I bought at the end of last year. It's the Flower Beauty Foundation from Walmart. This is the About Face Foundation. And the reason I picked this up because it looked more yellow toned and it's hard to find a yellow, like a light yellow toned foundation at the drugstore. And so I picked this one up. It does come with a pump and it's not my favorite foundation, but for days I want like a more luminous light coverage foundation, I'll go for this one. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to keep that one. It's not my favorite, like I said, but um, I definitely want to use that one up. These two are both from Almay. Uh, this is the Clear Complexion Makeup Blemished Heal Technology Foundation in Buff 200. Um, I haven't used this in a little while, but I think I do want to keep it and test it out some more and decide if I want to keep it. So I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile as well. This one is the Almay TLC Truly Lasting Color 16 Hour Foundation in Buff 140. It also comes with the pump. Ooh, it's, the pump is clogged. Hold on, let's pump out a little bit. There we go. 
or let's pump out a lot. I was trying to pump it out enough to get the clog out. So um, this one I think has more full coverage than the other one. The other one's more for acne prone skin. So this one is also gonna go in the maybe pile. I will have to let you guys know if I decide to get rid of that one or not. All right, so these are my CoverGirl 3-in-1 Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundations. I love this. This is one of my holy grails from the drugstore. I have 805 and this is ivory. I have one or 810 in classic ivory and I have 857 in golden tan. So I actually, I can use 810 by itself. It is a little bit pink toned, which I, you know, like I said, CoverGirl is a little bit more pink toned, especially in the lighter foundation colors. But um, in the summertime, if I'm self tanning or just have a tan in general, I will mix 857 with either one of these. So that's why I have three of them. I've already gone through um, one or two of these um, since it's came out. I really love this foundation, so I'm definitely keeping these. So this one here is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I do like this foundation. Um, the shade that I have is 1.0. I think it's the lightest shade. Um, it's not quite the perfect match, but I think the 3.0 was too dark and the 0.5 are more pink toned. So that's why I went with 1.0, but I do like this foundation. Definitely going to keep that. This is one of my holy grails. It's the Lancome. Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Foundation. I love this. I have the color in Buff Neutral. Um, I love this foundation. It's amazing. So definitely keeping that one. This is the Lorac Natural Performance Foundation and the color I have is NP3. And it does have a pump. You just twist it up like that and then it, the pump's at the top. But um, I love this foundation. It's oil-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free, and I already went through one bottle of this quite some time ago. I think it was last year. It was in one of my empties videos. So I purchased it again and I definitely love this and want to keep it. It's kind of like a natural finished looking foundation, but it has a, you know enough coverage for me. This is the Sephora 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation and I love this. I think I've gone through one or two of these and it has a pump. This, this shade is actually too light. Because when I initially bought these, I think I bought two shades and this one ended up being too light, but I used up the other one once or twice. I think I went through two of them. Um, this is in light number 12, E Crew, And I think I ended up using 15 or 20, I can't remember. So this is too light for me, but I do want to use it up and mix it with some other foundations that maybe are too dark. Like I can mix it with like the dark ones that I have. So um, definitely want to keep that one. So this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. And I have mixed feelings about this. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I don't. I think it just depends on my skin. Um, I hadn't used it in a while. I pulled it out recently, started using it, and really liked it. And then like a couple weeks went by, I used it again, and I was like, meh, I don't feel as <laughs> good about it. So it's just kind of like hit and miss for me. It just depends on my skin, but I definitely want to keep it and use it up. So it just has a little spell like that. And I have the shade number three, Bare Linen. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydration Foundation. This is not my favorite foundation by any means. Um, it is oil free. I just feel like I don't like, love the finish of it. Um, and I don't feel like it's as long lasting as it claims. So it's really expensive. I don't want to get rid of it. I really want to use it up. I actually am wearing this today, so um, I'm trying to use it. I've kind of been dipping my fingers into some of the different foundations I have that I haven't used in a while to decide if I wanted to keep or get rid of them. But this one I'm going to keep because it is an expensive one. This one here is the Sephora Tint Infusion Foundation, and I've used it up to there. I wanted to do a review on this. I just haven't gotten a chance. But... Um, Let's see, this is in the shade 12 E Crew. So yeah, it just comes with a drop, dropper. It's one of those serum type foundations. So let me know if you guys want a review on this because it's a fairly newer one to Sephora. So I'm gonna keep that one. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus foundation. And the shade I have is number three zero. I definitely need to pull this one out because it's been a long time since I've used it, but I really do like it, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. 
This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I know a lot of people love this. I like it and I hate it. Um, I just feel like it's so full coverage that it does kind of settle into my lines, um, my fine lines and pores sometimes. I like to sheer it out like in the winter time I will put a beauty oil on my face and then put this directly over it before the beauty oil absorbs into my skin and that way it shears it out and it looks better in my opinion. Um, this color is really not a good match for me. I have used almost half of it up because I do want to use it up since it was a pricier foundation but I have the color Ecru 1 Neutral 2. 1 and 2. It's an Ecru. And I don't think the girl color matched me really well for this. I don't know. I just think it's not a good match. It looks a little bit too pink in my opinion. So, but I still want to use this up. So definitely going to keep that. So these two are samples or they're like deluxe sample sizes of the Perigo Pericone MD No Foundation Foundation Serum. And they only came in one shade. This only comes in one shade. Um, this is in the shade light to medium and it's just too dark for my complexion but maybe this summer I will be able to wear it or either mix it with a lighter shade. So I definitely want to keep these because I haven't even tried them yet and I think they were point perks. So yeah I can use these I just need to mix them with another color. Let me see how dark they are. Yeah, it's not, it's like dark, but it's um, workable. Like I can definitely mix it with something else. So I'm going to keep those. This is a little sample of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, Silk Foundation. This was a, was this a point perk or was this, I think it might've been a point perk. I can't remember, but this is in the shade 5.5, which is way too dark for me. So I really want to try this, but I'm going to have to mix it with another foundation because it's just too dark for my complexion. And then lastly, I have these BB creams. I just wanted to throw them in with my foundations. Um, so first, let's go over these. These are the Maybelline Dream Pure BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Clearing Protector. They have salicylic acid in them. I have light medium, which is this one, and light sheer, which is that one. Um, I'm going to keep this one. I used it recently. Um, not really sure how I feel about it quite yet but I didn't buy them not that long ago. So I'm gonna keep the darker one and then I'm gonna get rid of this one because this one's light sheer. It's just, oh, you know what? I haven't even used this one. Let's see. I don't know if that cut me off. So I don't know if I got cut off, but I'm gonna get rid of the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream in the light sheer color because it's too light and pink toned and I'm keeping the one in light medium. This is the Garnier BB Cream. I really love this. It's the oily, for the oily combination to oily skin. I have light medium. It's not a perfect match, but I can make it work. It's kind of messy. And I really do love this BB Cream. I love the finish of it. It's pretty good coverage for a BB Cream and I definitely want to use this up, so I'm keeping that. This is my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And I have the shade Fair. The only problem with these is Fair is too light and light is too dark. So it's, only, it's almost like I need to mix the two. But I just darken it up with putting a powder, a darker powder over it. So this one, as you can see, I'm almost done with it. So I definitely want to use this one up. I do like it. I don't know if I would repurchase it though, but I do really like it. This one came in a Mimi box a long time ago. This is the Aqua Radiant CC Cream. This one is very similar to the It Cosmetics one. It smells the same. It feels really good on the skin. So I like this one as well. As you can see, I've used a lot of it up. So I definitely want to use this up. Lastly is this one. This is the Organic Wear CC Cream by Physicians Formula. This is in the color Light. I used to use this all the time and then I haven't pulled it out in quite some time. So let's see here. The only thing with these is the color. They don't have a very good color selection with most BB creams anyway. It's a little bit pink, but it has good coverage and I like the finish of it. Ugh. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to keep this and mix it in with some of my foundations. 
um, cause I really do want to use it up. I've used probably about maybe less than half, but, um, I'm going to keep that. So initially I told you I had 52 foundations, but that included these three mini deluxe sample sizes. So technically I have 49, wait, 49. Yes, technically I have 49 foundations that I purchased myself, so we won't include these in the number because I feel like I didn't really pay for those. Those were point perks. So 49 foundations total, and I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight foundations I'm getting rid of. Some of them are going in the trash. And then I have three of these that are maybes. So these three I want to use and then I'll come back at the end of the video, like insert a clip and let you know if I decided to get rid of these. 